and welcome back to The Average. Yes, it's that time again. It's paint over book time. Don't give me any grief, can't be bothered with you. Just move on. If you don't like people painting on books, then don't click the video. It's as simple as that. And moving on to the people who are actually here because they like fun and joy and happiness in their lives. <laughs> uh, we know that I paint over books and that have movie covers because I just don't like movie covers. And this is Bridgerton. Obviously, you know, it's a show on Netflix, very, very popular. I really love the show. I think it's really good. I think it's really well written. The books are quite good, you know, passable, enjoyable, nothing special, I would say, which is like, you know, kind of suggesting that the uh, the show is better than the books. And I'm not saying that, but I am a bit, so. First of all, I never do this, but I want to take you guys through my ideation process of the book because I feel like I never do that. I just paint on the books and you guys are like, where, where did she get that idea from? So just want to do some sketches uh, in my, my little, little sketchbook here. And I do have like a basic idea of what I want to do because in the book stuff happens and I want to emulate... Where's my colour pencil because I feel like you guys can see that better when I draw it out. In the book stuff happens and I feel like I want to emulate that a bit but I also want to leave it, you know, a bit generic. As they've kind of done here, you can see that they play the, uh, what's it called? Mallet game? <laughs> what's it called? <laughs> Don't remember. Yeah, so they play that game and uh, so I want to include that a bit because they've done it on the cover but I really like the idea of doing like a motif. Is that the correct word? Motif? I don't know. You'll, you'll probably tell me in the comments. But in the beginning, she has like a little corgi dog and he kind of runs away and it's a whole like little tableau within the book of like them both chasing the little dog and being like, oh my god, you're the worst because you let this dog run away and then the sister who he's courting falls into the river and it's like, oh no, you've done this. And I'm like, what? It's not her fault. My idea is to have sort of like stuff that happens in the book kind of portrayed along the outside. Anyway, uh, tea around here as if it's spilling as well. Cause I think there is some tea spill in the book. I can't remember. There's a lot of clumsy moments in the book that I do appreciate. And then we'll just do like flowers and stuff in between. And then in the middle, I really want to have like the two characters like they've done here, but I really want to like bring the story a little bit in. Cause here they're just kind of standing, looking at the camera. I mean, Kate is kind of like, you know, got a little bit of a smarmy act. Um, action a little like smarmy pose which is kind of cool like she's a bit cocky but he just looks weird I feel like this pose they've chosen is just really strange to me mochi please be oh, it don't fight we're talking about books you can't fight yeah his pose just looks really strange to me I don't know about you guys but I just feel like the angles are really odd like if he was just stood straight I don't know. So I want to bring the story in a little bit where they're just kind of like looking at each other but angrily, but you can feel the tension. Do you know what I mean? Like I want a little bit of tension action. Like this is kind of my idea anyway. I don't know if you guys have seen the show or read the books, um, but I won't spoil too much, but you find this out in like the beginning. It's basically his father dies because he's allergic to bees and a bee stings him. But then it's used kind of in like a romantic, way <laughs> not spoiling anything but it is like the bee thing is used um so we want to show some bees so i want to do the dog here um i'm not very good at drawing dogs <laughs> as you can probably see but we gotta practice these things right um also there's loads of space here so i want to have like thunder somehow but I don't know whether to like include it in this bit because thunder is also like a key because she's scared of thunderstorms, right? Hmm, okay, I think we've got enough to get started. I'm gonna get started on setting up this book. Paint over. So I've set up my book, Case Golden, uh, tape there and I just put paper in between and then stick down this cover onto the paper so it just like kind of stays still and then I have the tape so I don't like go over the, the side because I don't like to paint the spine because um, I think if it would just like fall off. But yeah, so I'm going to be using my little gouache palette that I made. First of all, the worst bit of the whole thing, I'm going to be scraping off any of the shininess because we can't paint very well on top of it. 
So I'll be using just this like file um, to just scrape down areas of shininess because yeah, we need to paint on it and then I'll feel to see if the shininess is gone because if it's not gone, then we'll have an issue. Okay, that should be fine, that should be enough. Scrapage, <laughs> it's always so painful. But yeah, let's get started. I think I want it to be like this big. The dog here. Goodbye, Netflix logo on the book. One week later. And we're back. It's actually been a week. Uh, I left this project because I was like, I can't be bothered. <laughs> Do you ever have days like that? I just, I just was not feeling it. And I really didn't want to half ass like the process of painting on a book. So um, I decided to get some modeling paste. I'm gonna try a new technique for this one. Also, sorry about my nails. I tried to paint them and then like they all smudged. So I, I've been picking them off. Don't look at them. I got some uh, uh, like modeling paste. I guess it's kind of like Mod Podge. I don't know. Oh my God, why won't it open now? What? It was just open. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna cover this with a thin layer of this. With a thin layer of this. And just like a little layer. Uh, I'm gonna get my little spoon. Or a spoon, you know what I mean. Just smooth it out. Just smooth it out. I think this will be better in the long run. Okay, that's what I'm going with. We'll see. I guess we'll see. Don't skip to the end. That's rude. You better watch this, huh? You better watch this. With a thin layer of this. Okay, so I feel like that's gonna give us some nice texture. Bet you didn't see that you were gonna see what? That didn't make any sense. Bet you didn't realise that you were going to see a new technique for me today, did you? No, exciting stuff, huh? So we have a bit of a situation. Um, it looks good. I like the way it looks, but there was a hair here whilst it was drying. And I was like, I'm just going to take that out. I'm just going to take that out and then like smooth it down again. No, it uh, went weird and then I had to put more on top. And then I had to put more on top and then I had to push it around and now we have this big lump that like won't dry it's kind of like I don't know weird <laughs> you can tell underneath it's kind of still a bit wet so I don't know what to do I think I'm just gonna push it down and see what happens because uh, please dry I'm gonna like roller this bit and see if it just like smushes out. Sounds disgusting. <laughs> see if it smushes out the excess. <laughs> okay, let's just smush it. Yeah, see, look at the excess there. Let's just smush it onto this paper. Oh, it's like a spot. Ugh. Oh, that's so rank. <laughs> that is... yeah, welcome to the book cover paint over, guys. But you didn't think you were gonna see this, did you? This is a good idea for those like people that do like those videos where they smush like mochis. I don't know if you've seen that or if you know what I'm talking about at all. Probably not. Uh, let's push this paper down. <laughs> this is a situation. It is a situation, but we'll get over it. We, we can push through. Okay, let's just smush it one more time and just get the excess off and then I'll go in with a hairdryer and dry it more. That was way too much. Like, what's wrong with me? I was like, I need all of this paste on here. You know those like slapstick comedies that, um, Things just keep getting worse and worse, and it it's like really infuriating to watch. Yeah, you probably know what I mean. It's off, smush it one more time. It's kind of satisfying to be honest. But now I've got like a really weird texture. Let's just get all the excess. Be gone, excess. Okay, I feel like I'm finally ready to start painting, even though I'm not sure about this lump. We'll see how we do because, you know. Like, painting on books is surprisingly difficult. You'd think it'd be the same as just painting on top of, like, your sketchbook or whatever, but it isn't. It's super difficult, and I hope that's appreciated uh, because sometimes people are just like, what the have you done here? And I always get nervous because I want it to be good, but, you know, I just want to paint these guys in first. They're obviously the main thing. The main thing! Yeah, so I think the first part of this painting process is, where's my white? There it is. 
it's definitely just gonna be me um, blocking out shapes and then hoping and praying that it's gonna turn out well. Oh no! I just realized that in the in the book, uh, this is like a, like a tough area to cover. We're gonna go for it guys. In the book, she's white. And then in the series, she is obviously from India, which I think is such, like, it adds so much to the story. Because she's like, I'm going back to India, actually. I don't want to be around you. And he's like, it's not far enough. Impossible. But I am leaving for India. And it is not far enough. You know, that, when he does that, and it was like, oof. Oof, I think, it, I think the lady doth protest too much. So I'm going to make her Indian because we ain't about whitewashing around here, even though in the book she isn't Indian. I don't care. I think it adds much more interest to the story. Like, seriously, it's so much more interesting than her just being English. I don't know. We've already got English characters, so I, I really like that. So I'm going to make her Indian, and uh, we're going to stick with that, because I'm not going to... I'm not about to, in this day and age, paint over a woman of colour and then make her white, okay? <laughs> so we're not arguing it. Move on. If anyone's here to argue that, get out. Uh, but yeah. Okay, that was a lovely off topic rant but yeah I, I like the book it's okay i i feel like i feel like the uh the show is so much better it ad just adds so much like depth to the characters and yeah the book is okay i liked it it was it was like a throwaway quick book i don't know if they get better because people rave about these books and i'm like but are they that good <laughs> Are they though? Because I, I wasn't a huge fan of the first one. I thought it was okay. And then this one was better. Definitely better. But I definitely, yeah, weird to say this. The show is better than the books. Not That's kind of a rare thing for people to say, right? Um, but it's true for me in this case. It, it kind of changes the whole like story a bit of how they actually get together. And I was like, that's like a little bit lame <laughs> um, because you know like how the bee I'm gonna just say it because you've probably seen the show if you're watching this if you haven't stop this video and go watch the show because it's really good or keep watching if you don't care in the show she gets stung by a bee and it obviously is traumatizing for him because his father gets killed by a bee sting because he's obviously allergic right and um it's a very like cool moment because they're like you see his care for her and in the book it happens as well and you see his care for her obviously but then he's like now i have to marry you because everyone saw that <laughs> and it's like what that's lame <laughs> and it's like yeah gonna marry you now done and it's like oh whereas in the show it's kind of more of a build-up right it's more like guess what i'm gonna marry your sister like in the book she doesn't even the sister is not even that like big of a storyline it's more like he like he he thinks he's gonna marry her and that's it but like in the show they go full-on wedding action so <laughs> it's very different and i think that's a bit hard the harsher thing in the show is a bit like would you go that far that somebody who's walking down the aisle with your sister would you go that far i don't know you would but hey it's all good drama love a bit of drama yeah blocking out shapes blocking out shapes we can do this we can do this. I'm talking to you as well. We can do this together, okay? I'm really regretting adding a dog to my sketch. <laughs> Go along, Pastor. A dog. It's hard to draw, right? I think what I'm going to do is make this background really, like, dark blue to emphasise them. There were moments in the book that I really liked. There's a bit where she gets, like, stuck in the drawing room because she's trying to avoid him. She's, like, at a party at his house. And she's like, oh my god, I'm gonna slip away so he can't, like, find me. And then she hides under the desk and then he sees her, but he's with someone else in the room. And then he's like, he, like, steps on her hand. I, yeah, I'm just remembering this. I was like, I like that bit and now I'm remembering it. He, like, steps on her hand and then she like bites his leg and stuff and it's like okay calm down guys <laughs> she falls in love with the guy that kicks her so you know swings and roundabouts i guess those are my thoughts on the book and uh it's okay it's a good it's a, it, it's a three star out of five star for me it wasn't memorable i guess it wasn't like anything wow i didn't really think the characters were that fleshed out as they are in the show i feel like i should have made this circle a bit bigger but i don't care because i'm just going with it good luck to me drawing this dog on it painting this dog even good luck to me and um, by the way um <clears throat> adding that 
modeling, what is it called? Modeling paste, Mod Podge stuff. It's modeling paste, it's not Mod Podge. Um, there is a difference. Actually really helped, so if you guys, I'll, I'll link this one down below, but I'm sure that you can find like lots of different modeling pastes wherever you may be. And uh, yeah, I think it's like actually really helped being able to paint a little bit easy, more easily. Where are you going, Kubo? Can I help you? Can I help you? Please, can you move on without, ah, ah, no, no, thank you. Just keep it moving, keep it moving. Thank you very much. It wasn't too bad. It could have been quite traumatic for me. Oh my God, he nearly fell off the desk. Can you keep moving? I don't know why they have to go so slow. They're like, actually, maybe I might destroy everything on this desk. Yeah, definitely modeling paste way to go because this has been easier to actually get like some nice forms. I always feel like I struggle with that with on books. So hopefully this will make all the difference except when I draw the dog, which will look like a turd with legs. And I am honestly just warning you now about that. So it's not my fault if you keep watching and you get annoyed that I drew a turd with legs. Drew, painted, whatever. I always say drew and then I'm like, no, I mean painted because once somebody in the comments were like, oh my God, I think you mean painted, not draw. <laughs> and I was like, oh, you're right. And now like whenever I say that, I'm like, oh no, I better, I better correct myself or that person's gonna come back <laughs> from their dungeon crawling out. <clears throat> I don't have your shoes, I'm okay, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay guys <laughs> he's gonna be like super like not angry but like you know like a little bit like hmm I hate you but I don't kind of face okay fine fine the time has come to try and paint this dog. <laughs> Why have I done this? What's wrong with me? It's gonna come out, it's gonna look bad when uh, I'm trying to do the details, that's for sure. Okay. Uh, it's already looking horrible. It's looking like a blob. Oh well. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna block out the shapes afterwards. I'm gonna do that and then what I'm gonna do is paint around it. You see, I'm just full of great ideas. Okay, so we have the basis of the dog, right? I'm gonna cheat a little bit and use like a bit of an ink brush to just define like the darker areas because I think it's just gonna work a bit more. I don't know why I said cheat. Like, it's not cheating, is it? It's mixed media. <laughs> I'm like, it's cheating. It doesn't make sense. So I'm just gonna define areas with a pen, basically. But yeah, the dog is not turned out um, too bad as I thought. I was like dreading painting him but it's not you know it's not awful right so there we go it's hard to draw okay i think he's kind of cute um we're gonna move on because we're running out of time uh well we're not really running out of time but yeah i'm gonna use the pen to define areas because it's just easier than painting everything this is just a brush pen by the way i think i got it in japan but it's a kuretake um brush pen you can get them on Amazon. I think it's Pentel Kuritake, I'm not sure. Okay, I think it's looking kind of good. I wanted the lead to kind of go around here 
from my sketch. So we're going to use this massive brush that people use for like lettering, hand lettering. And I'm just going to go, you know, I'm just going to do it. It's not awful, but it's not the best. Maybe I should have used a different <laughs> brush. I was very confident in my lettering brush skills there. Eh? Okay. Mallet. That's fine. It's fine. We're blocking shapes out. Okay. And I wanted to do some like foliage as well because they are like often in gardens and stuff again with the blocking out the shapes we're just having fun making some random leaves and it's gonna be good it's gonna be good guys i feel i'm feeling it you know okay i want to do like a bit i want to make them big even though that doesn't really make sense but that's what i want to do okay big old bees hanging about maybe just the one because i'm like where else is this bee gonna go maybe over here like flying Maybe like they're going off into the distance and you can't even see like this one because it's going to go behind his head, which is, you know, not brilliant planning by me, but I don't care too much. I don't care too much. The B, 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 B. Why do I keep saying B? Don't know. Couldn't know, couldn't care. That's my attitude today, if you noticed. Don't care, don't care. Doesn't make much sense, does it? I really need to define these uh, cup, cups of tea and stuff as well, but we'll get to it. Chris said that the, it looks like the plate's coming out the dog's butt, but it's a bit late for me now, so I've already done it now. And he's right, but sometimes you win some, sometimes you don't win anything. You win nothing. That sounds about right, doesn't it? I feel like it needs some sort of colour around it. I don't know. I kind of like the light green thing, but maybe if I just add more definition around it. And also here is like, maybe if I try to make it light again, it will work better. Because it just looks too orange over here. I think everything just needs a little bit of definition now. I think what I want to do as well is literally do that lightning, like I said. So maybe if we do like a lightning here, and then the light is kind of bouncing off them. That would be kind of nice if we can do it. So let's just do like, right? Some sort of lightning going on. And then it's gonna be like, sort of lighting them up. Yeah, there's some sort of like glow behind them. Yeah, I think it kind of works. I just need to render it a little bit better, so. Like, obviously it wouldn't just be white, it would just kind of blend out a little bit as well. That would also mean that there's like greater shadows behind them. So, without losing detail, I want to add some darker shadows. So, let's just add a little bit of this black pen. Because I don't like to do shadows in black, but I feel like this black is definitely um, creating more contrast. So, I'm just going to use like a little bit. Damn B, I need to draw the B as well. <laughs> oh, around his nose is like looking a bit weird. A bit too bright there. Just blend it out, guys. Just blend it out. Blend it out. If in doubt, blend it out. And this sounds like an excuse, but I do like the roughness of like the foliage and stuff around. Where it's not very detailed, whereas they're quite detailed and the dog is quite detailed. Mm, maybe I'll go around just with the pen just to like add detail to some of the bits, but I need to wait for it to dry a little bit more, otherwise, I'm just gonna make a black mess of like colours. So, no. I've realised what's this. What's this? I've realised what this needs now, and it's like a gold border as if like this is a frame, but I don't have a gold. So I'm just going to do it like an orangey colour, I guess, and just do like as if it's a frame around them, just to tie it all together and then these items would make more sense, maybe? I kind of think, yeah, I feel like it added something definitely, so maybe if I make it like more exaggerated. I don't know whether to make like the background a solid colour as well, maybe like a light blue, I think I might try that.
and I think that's it completed. What do you guys think? It's time to take off the tape. Boom. And release it from this paper, which I'm a little bit nervous about because of the whole debacle with the um, modeling paste, but let's see if it works. Okay, it's coming out. But yeah, there we go. I'm going to varnish this later because I always, I always get anxious about varnishing them. Uh, so I'm going to varnish it off camera a bit later. I probably might upload that to my TikTok if I varnish it. But yeah, here's the final paint over. What do you guys think? I really like it. I think the modeling paste, even though it was a moment of pure panic, um, I think it really added something to it and definitely like how it turned out. And yeah definitely prefer it to the cover even though I prefer the show to the movie, the book so sure about that the dog turned out not too bad as well I'm glad I challenged myself on that so there it is guys that's the end of the video thank you so much for watching if you got this far you like what I did please give me a thumbs up and a little comment or something because it really helps with the video um you know some garbage but thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time bye